We are in the midst of a massive project, Divi 5, and I like to update the community every month on our progress. Last month, we dug deep into the five stages of the Divi 5 beta program to better understand how we are approaching such a big project in the most advantageous way for Divi users. We are in phase one, Dev Alpha, and we are getting closer to launching Dev Beta, at which point the new Divi 5 API will be solidified. We will invite more developers to join the program while we work towards the first public release later this year. We got a lot done this month. I'll throw up the changelog quickly, and you can pause the video if you want to read through the finer details, or you can visit the blog posts linked in the video description. There are a lot of little things that we are filling in one by one as we inch closer towards our first public release, where the UI will need to be polished and a solid set of Divi features will need to be finished. We worked on section dividers, background videos, condition options, responsive content, and fixed a few bugs. Most of our work focused on solidifying the Divi 5 API, which is what the dev beta versions are about. The general trend here is that we are building a foundation to make it easier for our team and the development community to create great Divi modules and features. We need to get this part right so everything else falls into place how we want it to. We worked on unifying and simplifying Divi 5's new REST API. We finished several new functions and their implementations, which aim to significantly reduce the time it takes to create a Divi module. Again, we're putting in extra work at the foundation level so that the rest of the Divi 5 project will go faster and all the modules and features we add after Divi 5 will be developed more quickly. We also refactored Divi's shortcode conversion method, which will play an essential role in backwards compatibility. Before we wrap up today's video, I want to discuss speed. As you may know, we aren't planning to add many, if any, new features to Divi 5. However, one of the most significant changes that will come with this new version is a massive increase in speed, especially in the Visual Builder, where we all spend so much time. Even though the Divi 5 UI isn't finished and the builder is missing features, I still wanted to give you a sneak peek at the difference in performance that I keep talking about. So please withhold judgment about how things look in this video, which will change, and just focus on the speed of the interactions. You will immediately notice everything appears instantly as you hover over elements on the page. Opening the settings pop-up is equally snappy as is adjusting design settings. It's a night and day difference across the board. For example, watch me race through these different view modes. Also, it doesn't matter how big and complex the page becomes, the visual builder can handle it and it remains fast. Achieving this level of speed wasn't possible in Divi 4 and it's one of the reasons that this Divi 5 re-architecture is so important. That's everything for this month's Divi 5 update. However, I do have one more teaser for you. While almost our entire team is focused on Divi 5, we still have a small group of people working on Divi 4 features that won't affect Divi 5 development, and right now, we're working on something very exciting. It's called Divi AI, and it leverages large language models to help you create content, such as text and images, for your Divi websites right inside the builder. Since it's integrated into Divi, we can teach it things about the builder and your website to help it create or improve your content in a way that makes sense and feels incredibly intuitive. So keep your eyes out for the Divi AI launch within the next month or so. That's all for our May progress report. Stay tuned for next month's update and I'll see you in the next one.